biggest games of the night. Two ranked teams, Dillon moving up to second in Class 3A, Hartsville sixth in Class 4A. Both these teams undefeated on the young season. And I'm telling you what, put your seat belt on because <laughs> these highlights are going to be outstanding. Kelly Town Stadium was lit tonight. Pick it up first quarter. Carmelo McDaniel barely gets in, but you know what? All you got to do is pass the plane. Touchdown, Hartsville. 7-0 Red Foxes into the first. Douglas hits Cole Winburn. He takes off. Number 18. Not going to catch him. Into the house. Red Fox extend their lead 14-0. Into the first half. Hartsville up 21-0. Josiah Oxidine takes a snap, scrambles, connect to Ty Martin. He gets in. Hartsville's lead 21-8 at the half. Second half, first possession for the Red Foxes. Hand off to McDaniel, who runs it in again for the Red Foxes. Hartsville looked at that point to be running away with it 28-8, but hold your horses. Dylan, next possession. Martin in untouched. And the Wildcats were coming back right after another handoff. Martin again. Talk about a monster night for the tailback. His third touch of the game. Hartsville up 28-21. Next Dylan possession. They're not done. Chris McCollum takes the snap. The big fella rolling over the defense. And just like that, my friends, it's a one-point Hartsville lead right after kickoff. Coe catches it for Hartsville. Takes off. Finds a little running room. Oh, Kelvin he Roller gone. ain't going to love that. Jeff Calabrese chalk it up. Loving every minute of it. Red Foxes take a 35-27 lead. But that's the last time the home team would score. Dylan explodes in the fourth quarter. Spring takes the handoff, bursts down the field. He finds plenty of real estate and a touchdown to boots. Dylan comes back to win this one. 59-35 after trailing 21-8 after half. Second consecutive week, the Wildcats have trailed late in the ball game, only to explode in the fourth quarter to win it. What a fantastic game for the Wildcats, who now turn their attention to Sakasti as they will come down to the beach. Hearts full. Well, they'll lick the wounds, so to speak, after giving up a big lead, not just once, but twice. They'll head to Irmo. But tonight, it was all about the Cats, that fourth quarter, and picking up a huge win over the Red Foxes. Definitely a big win and an MVP decision on your part be done to have Josh stay there for that finish. All right, let's hear from Kel Kelvin Roller and hear what he had to say about this one. You know, Harsh was just, they're, they're, you know, we're very similar programs. Both programs are rich in tradition with football. And, uh, you know, anytime you go on the road, it's tough to win. But, um, you know, the kids, I think they get a little bit more excited about playing a, a, game, a team like Hartsville and a program like Hartsville. And when, think, when you get a little momentum in any football game, that momentum can snowball a little bit. So, you know, uh, and, and it, you know, it just happened to go well for us today.